Assalamualaikum everyone. Hey guys, my name is Shahula and you're watching Shahula and Vlogs. I'm a third year physiotherapy student studying in Narayana Hrudayalaya Institute of Physiotherapy, Bangalore. And in this video, we're going to be discussing about the important questions of an important subject related to physiotherapy, that is electrotherapy. So we'll be starting with the basics and then we'll go on to what are the important questions which are going to be asked in the SWD, ultrasound and so on topics. So let's move on to this video but before that you guys know intro Starting with the introductory physics it is the most important chapter of uh, for a beginner you know starting that subject because that sets the basic basics for the electrotherapy subject so in that subject as you can see in the following screen now that we have first condenser that is construction and types you can pause and you know you can take a screenshot for the questions and i'll be doing the same thing and i'm gonna be explaining a little little things which are you know are important and what you can write in the electrotherapy exam so we have condenses that is a construction and types and you know the marks are given then we have types of valves used in electrotherapy units you know what is a condenser what is shock you know what are the earthing techniques what is an electric shock you know define electric shock uh, define types of burns that is very important burns uh, prevention and management goes a long way it goes till the fourth year of physiotherapy so that is actually important once you study you will have you know from here basics you can you know uh, go on about you know in the third and fourth year and then we have fuse what is a fuse what are the la what is latent heat principles of latent heat and then you have defined electricity and types electrical burns and management again then we have transformers construction and types so these are the questions which will be coming in the introductory physics moving on to the moving on from introductory physics we have you know low frequency high frequency and medium frequency currents in electrotherapy that is how the subject is divided and so now we will be going on to the important questions of low frequency current that is galvanic and faradic current first so that we have interrupted direct current that is a physiological effects therapeutic effects contraindications and indications now these three things four things that is physiological effects therapeutic effects indications and contraindications go a long way once you start learning about them and once you are clear about these four subdivisions of a topic then you have the whole idea of you know the current in your mind so once these four things are clear then i don't think you need to learn anything else apart from those four things for a particular current so we have then we have interrupted direct then we have faradic current and then we have again faradic and galvanic tests which is very important faradic foot bath is a part of the faradic current thing and then we have faradic foot bath procedure for you know training intrinsic foot muscles so in this we have you know a different different types of you know uh, area so when we have faradic current for quadriceps we have faradic current for foot faradic current for hands which is also known as iontophoresis that is used for hyperhidrosis conditions so faradic current and under, under these you have all these and then i have i think you can pause this video and take a screenshot here um, for these questions and now we moving on to sinusoidal and diadynamic currents those are you know diadynamic currents what are those sinusoidal currents what are those physiological effects of those and physiological effects of that and going on we have ionization or iontophoresis that is we have what is iontophoresis define iontophoresis what are the principles what are the techniques of you know iontophoresis you know drugs which are used for iontophoresis and then we have principles and advantages and again indications and what are these what is its importance in physiotherapy so that is about iontophoresis then we have cathodal and anodal galvanism that is cathodal galvanism and anodal galvanism <clears throat> then uh, we have micro and macro currents uh, that is a small topic three and five marks that is uh, there and then we have again types of electrical stimulators that is nmes that is neuromuscular electrical stimulator so what is the instrumentation for nmes you know what are the types of electrodes which are used for nmes and uh, you know where to place the electrodes uh, for nmes so that is about you know uh, nmes and so I'll be posting all these questions, you know, uh, as a screenshot so that once you see these questions, you can pause the YouTube, 
pause this video and you know take a screenshot from this video so we have questions from nerve muscle physiology and then we have an important topic that is tens we have you know tens stance cutaneous electrical nerve stimulation so we have tens we you know mechanism of action is required of classified tens with a type of tens and you know define contraindications indications and you know again we have the physiological and therapeutic effects again as i said these four things indications contraindications physiological and therapeutic effects you know half of the, uh, 80 percent of the topic is already done once you learn all these four things so tens is done then we have dosage parameters and all these um, uh, questions again posted here so from moving on from tens we have pain small topic that is define pain modulation through pain gate theory and methods of pain modulation then we have electrodiagnosis you know three marks um 10 marks sorry uh 10 marks that is list various types of electrodiagnosis and you know explain any five so that is there and you have fg test sd curve sd curve is a very important topic as uh you know from an exam point of view and also as um you know taking um uh, for a diagnostic purposes you know for nerve um, related injuries <clears throat> so we have all these questions uh from sd curve that is you know how to you know plot a graph sd graph and you know sd curve and uh, what are the Im what is the importance of sd curve in physiotherapy and how to interpret and all these questions are there so moving on then we have uh, emg and biofeedback and then we have nerve conduction velocity studies IFT that is um, from medium frequency we have IFT in that we have the principles and uh, production of phys and pre physiological and therapeutic effects then we have static and dy uh, dy uh, dynamic interface system you know how is the modulation of pain through IFT then we have you know defining the uses of IFT in management of uh, stress incontinence so these are the questions here again we have russian and rebox type of currents then we have high frequency that we have swd you have principles production methods of uh, heat production spacing of electrodes physiological and therapeutic effects again indications and intra uh, contraindications and again all these questions you can uh, pause or you know you can take a screenshot of this then we have uh, mwd MWD is also very important. Ultrasound is the most important uh, topic uh, related to physiotherapy because as you might have heard, you guys might have heard that ultrasound takes up, you know, 50% of the modality time in a rehab uh, because it is very helpful and it, you know, is fast acting usually. So ultrasound is very useful and also ultrasound, you know, has a lot of effect, uh, has a lot of questions uh, coming in the viva you know from an examiner point examiner's point of view so you know we have all these uh, questions for ultrasound these are also very important um Okay, so moving on, we have photophoresis and then we have IRR and UVR. IRR and UVR are basically heating modalities. IRR is infrared, you know, uh, heating modality and UVR has UV type of rays, which, um, so these are the important questions for IRR and UVR. UVR is more important than IRR from my point of view and also from a question paper's point of view because UVR has more uh, uh, effect and UVR has more of, you know, a diversity in treating uh, many skin conditions, you know, psoriasis, eczema and, you know, acne vulgaris and all these stuff. So UVR and IRR questions are here. You can pause and again, you know, take a screenshot. Then we have laser. Laser also is very important. And uh, we have super he superficial heating modalities. So wax therapy, Again, then all these questions for wax therapy, I've given the marks next to it. So um, I'm gonna tell you how much to write for each marks uh, at the end of the video. So do not forget to, you know, watch till the end. Then we have contrast bath. Then we have moist heat therapy. Then we have cyclotherm. Cyclotherm is also very important, fluidotherapy. And then we have whirlpool bath. Whirlpool bath uh, uh, is important from, uh, you know, practical point of view and cryotherapy is also important because cryotherapy is basically ice therapy so ice packs and all these um, cooling uh, cold packs comes under cryotherapy so that's i think uh, most of the questions
So that's the that's it. That's the most of the questions, you know, important questions for electrotherapy from an electrotherapy point of view, exam point of view. So I'm going to tell you how much to write for five marks, 10 marks and three marks questions. So for five marks, you know, usually you have to write three pages of the answer sheets, at least from, you know, an RGHS point of view. And I think from all universities, three marks, uh, five marks, you'll have to write three pages. 10 marks you'll have to write five pages and you know for three marks i think a single page or two pages is more than enough for three marks questions so uh, important stuff is for uvr ultrasound um, ultrasound all the definitions are very important precise definitions are important uvr you know you can draw the lamp uvr lamp you know theractin tunnels uh, all these you can draw swd the circuit swd circuit is very 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 important because you know swd circuit for 10 marks it comes with physiological effects and therapeutic effects or sometimes indications and contraindications or the working of swd circuit whole as a whole comes for 10 marks so that is very important uh, so these are the main important questions for electrotherapy so thank you so much for watching these uh, this video and i hope it helped and i hope it helps you in the future and you know please share it with your friends and share it with your group and you know all your physiotherapy class groups uh, so that you know they are also uh, you know uh, helped by these questions uh, so thank you so much for watching shaolan vlogs and uh, we will meet again with exercise therapy questions the next video will be about exercise therapy questions so until then keep watching shaolan vlogs bye bye